everyone. Welcome to Motivational Monday. I have my sister Sobor here with me, Dominique. You want to say hello to everyone? Hey, sis. Hey, everybody. Awesome. So today we're going to be talking about accountability is key. And the reason Dominique is joining us is because she is my accountability partner. She's my life accountability partner. Um, so I do have several accountability partners in different areas of my life, but she kind of keep me in check with just about everything. And so we're just going to talk about what accountability looks like, why it's necessary, and kind of go into it a little bit from there. So I'm going to start off by asking, what do you think is the hardest part about being an accountability partner? Oh my goodness, that's a big one. I think the biggest part is making sure that you're honest, mm. but still coming from that loving place. Because being an accountability an accountability partner for someone, especially someone you're close to, mm -hmm. it's so easy to kind of, you know, sugarcoat it and be like, oh, you know, you tried, it was close. But you have to be able to say, no, sis, you dropped the ball on that one. Or you did it, but we could do this better and still come from a loving place and still be that friend and that encourager. Absolutely. And I, I will say there are times where sometimes it is very hard to hear that truth. It's so difficult to hear that truth. Like, I'm going to be in my feelings for a minute. You just going to have to deal with the fact that I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, I've always appreciated the honesty, honestly. And I've always appreciated the honesty. <laughs> And just being able to hear the cold, hard truth, whether I like it or not, whether it makes me feel warm and fuzzy or not. And one thing I will say that you're really good about the accountability on the good and the bad. Like you'll hold me accountable when I'm being too hard on myself. You'll hold me accountable and say, you need to sit down. You need to take some nap, take some me time, you know, as well, because I think that's very important and a lot of times people are so quick to give you the bad without saying, hey, no, you did that. Hey, you did an amazing job. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. As opposed yeah. to always being so focused on, you did this wrong, you did this wrong, you did this wrong, this wrong, and kind of going from there. Yeah, I think we definitely have to, that part where it's a difference between constructive criticism mm -hmm and just tearing someone down. And on that accountability piece, it's like, you have to be constructive. And I think that helps with the good and the bad. Because exactly. you, know, you do the same for me. And I'm like, sis, I don't like that. <laughs> but it works. It does. It does. And absolutely, I challenge so many, I want to challenge so many people to just be honest and be receptive to honesty. Because I think so many times everyone says, like, tell me the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And then I tell you the truth, you don't like it. You wasn't ready for the truth. You wanted the truth. Exactly. Not the objective one. You wanted the sugar-coated truth. And I will say this about the both of us. Neither one of us know how to do that. It's just not a thing. So if you, go, if you, ask, if you ask me a question, you're going to get the truth. If you don't want the truth, don't ask. And I think empowering you to have that type of, um, I guess, ability to step into my life and say, listen, even if you didn't ask me the truth, you know, you gonna give it to me. <laughs> but I've empowered you to do that, you know, and I think it's definitely been beneficial. And even like I said, when I don't like the truth, I still process it. I still think about it. And I still, you know, I may not have a rebuttal then. <laughs> But it triggers the thought and it triggers the growth, most importantly. But what do you think is difficult about having accountability partners? Oh, my goodness. So on that same tip of being truthful, because I know sometimes we'll have conversations. And, you know, we tell each other pretty much everything. Everything. <laughs> but in telling each other everything, it's like, okay, when I do something that I know I shouldn't have, that I know I'm wrong for, and I'm still going to sit up here and tell you, and I know you're going to hold me accountable. Because, like, sis, now you know we talked about this. And you know you're the queen of the feet. So you're going to be like, not all that. That's what happened. 2017, we said. But it's so great because, you know, I don't journal so much. I'm really bad about it. So making sure that I keep track of things. 
Right. You keep me accountable for that. So if we're talking about something and you're like, okay, but you said you were going to do this. We decided on this. What right. are you doing? And right. We sit there and be like, what are we doing? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I think like it's that beauty and curse of having an accountability partner. You have someone who's going to hold you to your standards and push you to make them higher. Exactly. Exactly. And I really think it's such a it's a beauty and a curse. I will give it that. But it's more good than difficult to process because even though it's challenging to receive harsh feedback and even though it's challenging to hear your words spit back to you, like, I didn't need you to tell me what I said. But I needed you to tell me what I said. Right. I know I said what I said, but, like, can we... Can, can we forget that I said that? You know? Yeah. Um, but I really think everyone needs to get, you, get them a you. But, like, not you because... Like, I'm your you. I'm, I'm you my you. you. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone needs to have that go-to person in their life where they know all of it, just, just the good, the bad, the ugly, the whole truth, and being able to say, no, 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 you didn't mean that. No, 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 that's not what we were talking about. Um, because it really, it forces you to grow. It forces you to do better. It forces you to step your game, step your own game up. Yeah. Now, one thing we got to put a disclaimer about, that yeah. person needs to be non-judgmental. Please, <laughs> please, please, because judgment is not, first and foremost, it's not nice. And if you're going to be privy, if you're going to be privy to knowing everything about someone, you have to be able to accept everything about that person, too. Definitely. Otherwise, it's really not fair. It's yeah, really not. Like you also have to, you know, we talk about equity equally yoked for relationships but for friendships especially mm -hmm. for that life accountability partner right. like I don't know if we would be good for each other if we weren't both women of God if we weren't both following that path that we would really hold each other accountable to the same degree I, I, absolutely and I think that brings up a really valid point so a lot of our core values are very similar yeah but then when it comes down to specifics we're very different <laughs> Um, but I think that creates balance and it creates different perspectives. However, at our core, we're very, very similar. We believe a lot of the same things. We aspire to similar but different things. Um, right. Like we aspire to achieve greatness in our careers, but we got different career paths. You know what I mean? So when you get down to the specifics of it, we're very different and we come from different worlds and different environments in different specifics but we come together with aligned um, and equally yoked perspectives. So that's a really, really good point. And I think it really helps to create, A, the non-judgmental aspect of our relationship, and B, I think it helps the receptiveness of the accountability as well. Because I know yeah. you get it. I know you yeah. get where I'm coming from, for sure. So what do you think are the risk of not having an accountability partner? Oh my goodness. Okay. So I can do this one personally because, you know, we met in 2015. Oh my gosh. It's been forever. Okay. I know. I feel like it's been much longer than that. Right? And before that, I really didn't have anybody who was really, you know, holding me accountable to the extent that we do. Mm -hmm. And I know, like, I would be a repeater. Like, I would go through basically the same relationships, basically the same mental health patterns the same emotional roller coasters like the same the same the same because i would kind of be like oh you know i didn't quite do this uh, yeah, we can go back a little way <laughs> right and so now i feel like i've grown so much just because i've had you there to be like you know sis this is the path we're going this is what you need to do didn't we already do this that didn't work the last time. It's probably not gonna work this time because it didn't work the time before the last time either. So having that, <laughs> having that has really been an eye opener, I'll say, between not having an accountability partner and having one. And I know for other people that I've met, when they don't have somebody that can really steer them the right way, guide them, they often end up in the same situation over and over again. 
And that's what I was going to say. When I think about the people who I know don't have accountability partners, they seem really stagnant. And I think it's really because at the end of the day, who's checking you? Like who's, who's checking in? Who's, who's asking you anything about anything? You know what I mean? Like, and I think there should be someone, if not multiple people, there should be someone in your life who has the authority to say, no, no, you're slacking. No, no. You said you were going to do this at this certain point and you didn't. What happened? You know, like I, when I think about 2017 and how much progress and growth I made, it was because I had accountability partners everywhere I looked up, spiritual, financial, business, at work, and then on my business. Um, I had you who were just holding me accountable to everything. I had my therapist who was holding me accountable to everything. Like literally everywhere I looked up, there was somebody in my life asking those hard questions and forcing me to grow and they're, I mean, they couldn't have forced the growth, but having them in place and knowing somebody going to ask me about something. Yeah. And I need to be prepared to answer that question, how I would want that question answered. Otherwise I'm going to feel a certain type of way about myself. And so when I think about like, people are so quick to just brush off with, um, accountability as if it's a bad thing when really it's healthy. I really think it's a healthy part of life and I think it's a healthy part of growth and I wish everyone did it more often. Honestly, I do. Um, so with that being said, do you have any final thoughts for us on the topic of accountability? Um, I guess my last thing would just be to understand the importance of one, having one, being one, and get the gravity of being someone's accountability partner. Mm. Like, not to take it lightly and be like, oh, you know, I'm a check in every now and again or whatever, but really knowing that person and knowing what works. Because I know for us, we don't necessarily work the same way. Like, I'm, I'm not going to talk to you and be like, well, you're not this, you're not that. You're not. That doesn't work. And so it's that thing of we know how to communicate with each other. We got to actually know each other before we took that step into being accountability partners and saying, okay, I'm going to make sure that you're on the path that you're supposed to be going on and you will do the same for me. Absolutely. And it is, it, it's a great responsibility to have, but it, I don't take it lightly for sure. And I know because we've been placed into those positions in each other's lives, I know that I can't not hold you accountable because I know what you're capable of. I know where you're going and I know what you want. I know what you want to achieve. Cut it. <laughs> Don't get mushy on me, Dom. <laughs> but seriously, like I, I know who you are and I, we've taken the time to well beyond get to know one another. And it, hold, it holds me accountable to hold you accountable. <laughs> because yeah i get what you mean like and there are moments where i'm like and the, the number of conversations that go through you first bruh bruh and you know it's reciprocal it is it is like like you said it earlier and then you i think you were like we decided and i was like i really don't think people realize like that's a real thing like we make life decisions together because we stuck in this life together and it's just, it is what it is. However, we make great decisions. There it is. <laughs> there it is. We make phenomenal decisions because we're able to play devil's advocate with one another. And that truth and that harsh truth is sometimes what's necessary to make sure that decision is a valid decision. So with that being said, thank you for being my accountability partner. Thank you for having me and thank you for being mine. Absolutely. Well, guys, I want you to comment below. In fact, I want you to tag who holds you accountable. And if no one's holding you accountable, we need to figure that out. Okay? All right, guys. See you next week.